Handling money, that's the accusation against the head of an international union based in KCK. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Katz. And I am Bria Berry. And for Lara, the fight is playing out in federal court. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener is here to break it down for us. Matt. Bria, Chris, there's a court hearing tomorrow morning. If you're a member of a union or have a family member that is, this is all about how union dues are spent. There's accusations of tens of thousands of dollars not spent correctly. The strings of the discussion centers on this man, Newton Jones, the longtime president of the International Brotherhood of Boilermakers. One of the real sad things about this is this playing out in public in a really uh, uh, unfortunate way. Sean McCauley is a labor attorney not involved in the federal case. That case could ultimately determine who should run the Boilermakers Union, headquartered in Kansas City, Kansas. KNBC asked McCauley about the lawsuit. As a union lawyer, I, I find it disappointing that we have to play this out and we can't handle these type of things internally, but sometimes this is necessary. Three members of the board have accused Jones of paying his wife more than $106,000 while she was living in Ukraine. Also, $40,000 in meals for him and his wife, along with more than $20,000 in airfare for flights to Ukraine for him and his wife as well. Those three members of the council removed him from power, but Jones is fighting back, saying he did nothing wrong. McCauley said with all the disagreement, the focus should remain on the union members. To the average worker, they have concerns about what's going on from the leadership of their organization, and they have a right to be a concern because it's really supposed to be about them. Well, there's a rally in front of the federal courthouse tomorrow morning in KCK at 7 a.m. It's held by workers who want Jones removed. The hearing on who should remain in power He's at 10, Chris. All right, Matt, thanks. We've reached out to attorneys for both sides in this case. We have not heard back.